This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. The issue here, and this is what I was somewhat disturbed about, uh, I've worked with Dean Del Mastro for, uh, for a long time, but uh, he has been the number one attack dog on the issues of allegations of electoral fraud, and um, they've been very uh, bullish on their attacks on Election Canada. I, I feel with the investigation underway right now, as the parliamentary secretary to the Prime Minister, this isn't about his guilt or his innocence, this is about uh, him being compromised in his role, and I think it's the fair thing to do, and I, unfortunately we didn't hear that today from uh, the government. They seem to feel that their best defense was the offense. And, that's not a good message to send out. I think people want to see that the system, that we all believe in the system, and uh, when the system is under question, then I think he should step aside and allow this investigation to take place. What do you make of the fact that this firm got a grant under the Economic Action Plan from the Conservatives? Well, this is a question I was hoping to, to get an answer to today. Uh, we know that there's uh, Mr. Del Mastro has been named in the court documents with this company. The taxpayers paid this company uh, a contract. We don't know any of those details. But I think those are the kind of things that we need to clear the air on. And Mr. Del Mastro, he's chosen as the, as the voice of the Prime Minister. So we need to have a sense that they're taking this seriously. I'm sorry, very quickly, um, is it more about optics, you know, um, for Mr. Del Mastro? Is that the way you should step aside? You know, again, I have no desire to see Mr. Del Mastro punished. He's a good parliamentarian. I've worked with him. We, we fight all the time, but uh, I have respect for him. It is about uh, sending Canadians the message that, listen, we all have a role to play here as parliamentarians, and while an investigation is underway uh, where Mr. Del Mastro is compromised in his ability to defend the government and also in his uh, ability to attack Elections Canada, if, if that's the government's position, then he should step aside. And what was odd today was that we, the government was talking out of both sides of their mouth because they had Mr. Polyev up. So is Mr. Polyev the new spokesman for the Prime Minister? That's that's what we need to... I think they should just say that uh, and then we can get on. The investigation can happen. What do you make of the fact that this is two elections? Well, one election ago, this is 2008. This is, you know, that's part of the government's defense is that this is a long time ago. And if there were a regulatory, why are they only getting rid of it now? You know, I'm not going to uh, speculate on the nature of an investigation. There's an investigation underway. We don't know what happened. Uh, there's this check that has surfaced. Uh, we haven't heard answers on why that check was made out. Um, and so this is this is what should be done. This is the fair thing. An investigation should be done. It's not for me to, to decide that Mr. Del Mastro was guilty or innocent. But it is, it is rightful, as an ethics critic, to say, Mr. Del Mastro, I think, being that you're compromised right now, you should step aside, deal with this investigation, and the Prime Minister should appoint someone else. Thank you.